An example problem for dilutions in clinical chemistry. Let's do a one to three. So here you have your sample um, right here, and you have some diluent right here, and then here's your little cup. I know it's kind of big, but the cup that you're going to lo load on the analyzer. Now you have determined that you're going to do a one to three dilution on this sample to get an uh, accurate reading. So the first thing you would do is to get some sample out. So let's say we're going to get uh, 100 microliters out right here and we're going to take it and we're going to put it right here 100 microliters of your plasma or serum into the sample cup so next we're going to need to take some of the diluent so this is going to represent the diluent diluent and so we need to put some diluent in here so since we're doing a one to three it's going to be one part serum in two parts diluent for a total of three parts. So if one part sample is 100 microliters, then two parts of diluent, therefore it's going to be 200 microliters. And so we're going to put 200 microliters in here of, if you want, there you go, of your diluent. Okay, and then of course uh, you need to mix this appropriately. So let's say all of this gets mixed up and loaded on the analyzer and then we run it and the final result let's say it was a glucose and the final result was 320 milligrams per DL on your 1 to 3 dilution and then therefore you will multiply that back by 3 and then that would get you your final concentration of what was in your original sample and that would be for example 960 milligrams per DL for your final results.